the Reading Language Arts STAR test will have inline choice questions on the 2023 test. You may be wondering what is an inline choice question? Or more importantly, how do I help my students prepare? In this video, you will learn one, what is inline choice, two, how to solve, and three, how to integrate into your classroom. Angela here from Custom Classroom. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you that I am not affiliated with TEA or STAR. This is my interpretation as a Texas educator and test prep writer. To help students learn more about the new item types, I created three free sets of task cards, one for elementary, middle school, and high school. There is a link to the free download in the description. In this video, I will refer to one of the elementary task cards. There are six new item types. In this video, I will focus on inline choice questions. Inline choice questions are questions where students will select a word or phrase within a sentence or from a drop down box to complete the question. To better help you and your students learn how to answer an inline choice question, let's work through one from start to finish. First, let's look at what this type of question will look like for the online test versus if you do paper-based practice in your classroom. The online test will include a drop-down box students must click on to then see their answer choices. Students will then select their answer from the box. Now let's look at the question on how it would look on the paper-based test. In your classroom, it might appear like this. Let's look at the question. The word camouflage means A, colors, B, to change, C, to hide, D, a design, as it is used in the passage. So we know we are looking for the meaning of the word camouflage. Now let's look at the text. Many animals rely on their habitat to escape danger or to hide from the food they are trying to catch. To help them do this, they blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Animal use camouflage for two main reasons. One, animals use camouflage to hide from predators. In other words, their camouflage helps them to hide from other animals that want to eat them. Two, animals use camouflage to hide from their prey. In other words, when they are hunting, camouflage helps them to sneak up on other animals without being seen. Animals use camouflage in different ways. Now let's look at the questions and, and think about focusing on the word camouflage. We need to first find camouflage in the passage and reread the text around it to find any context clues. This is called camouflage. Animals use camouflage for two main reasons. One, animals use camouflage to hide from their predators. So to hide from their predators seems pretty descriptive about camouflage. Now let's evaluate each answer choice, knowing that it needs to define the meaning of camouflage. Answer A, colors. This is incorrect since it does not talk about hiding from predators. Answer B, to change. This is also incorrect since it does not talk about hiding from predators. Answer C, to hide. This is good since it directly says to hide like in the passage. Answer D, a design. This is also incorrect since it does not talk about hiding from predators. So we can eliminate answers A, B, and D. This leaves us with C, our best answer choice. Now you may be wondering, how do I integrate this style of question into my classroom? Take a question you have already planned or used in the past that has answers that are single words or short phrases. Go back and reword the question as a sentence. Then take your answer choices and turn them into a list of choices that could be used to complete the sentence. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are looking to help your students with inline choice questions, there is a link to three free sets of task cards in the description. Good luck.